Hello, everyone. Welcome to Clara's Feng Shui Cafe, and Happy New Year to you all. In my previous video, I've talked about what we should not place in the entrance hallway, and many people ask me the question, "What do we place in the entrance hallway?" Well, today's video is a special edition. I will talk about what we should place in entrance hallway to attract wealth and positive energy. After watching this video, I hope all of you will open the door to good fortune, perfect health, and prosperity in the new year. Let's get started. The entrance hallway is a pathway or doorway you pass through on your way inside a house. It's an area you see first when entering your home. The area connects energy from outside to your home, and it's very important in feng shui because it can directly affect the health and wealth luck of people living in the house. In feng shui, the entrance hallway is called xuan guan. A good feng shui in xuan guan can block the negative energy from entering your home. At the same time, collect the positive energy in your home. So the first thing you need to check is by standing at your front door and look inside your house. Can you directly see the back door or back window? If so, this type of layout is not good feng shui. Think of qi or energy like water. It enters your house through the front door and directly leaves the house from the back door. This type of layout is negative for the health and wealth luck. So what you can do is to place a wooden screen a few meters away from the front entrance to prevent the positive energy rushing out of the house. Make sure the screens are not made of plastic or metal. It should be wooden screens with designs of auspicious symbols. In feng shui, the three things considered auspicious in entrance hallway are red, green, and pictures. Now let's have a look at each one of them. Red, red color symbolizes happiness and prosperity. Placing red color objects in the entrance hallway can bring auspicious energy into the house. For example, red flowers, or flowers in a red vase, or red decorations. But make sure you don't put too much red, because too much red would cause imbalance of the five elements. The second one is green. Green color represents purity, renewal, and fresh energy. For example, placing green indoor plants in the entrance hallway can purify the energy that enters your home. The best type of plants in the entrance hallway should be plants with large and oval leaves. This is because the shape of the leaves look like golden ingot, and they can help you attract the money energy. However, do not place plants with sharp, pointed leaves because this type of leaves can generate sharp energy. Also, do not place prickly plants or plants with small leaves, as they are negative for your health and wealth luck. The third one is pictures. When you open your front door, the first thing you see should be a picture or painting with auspicious symbols to help attracting auspicious energy into your home. For example, pictures of flowers, pictures of fish, preferably eight or nine fish, pictures of peacocks, as they all represent prosperity, happiness, and wealth. There are also many items you can place in the entrance hallway, but you need to make sure you follow the feng shui principles. Number one is lighting. When installing ceiling lights in the entrance hallway, you should also install some spotlights so you can adjust the lighting in the hallway. The lighting should be soft and warm, not too dark or too bright. The second one is mirror. If you want to place a mirror in the entrance hallway, make sure it's not directly facing the front door, but it's okay to place it on the side wall. However, you still need to make sure the mirror on the side wall does not reflect any sharp objects that generate sharp energy, such as the edge of a furniture, the kitchen, or the bathroom. Aquarium. An aquarium can be placed in the entrance hallway, but the aquarium should not be placed directly facing the front door. This is because in feng shui, water represents money. Money needs to be hidden and not directly facing the outside, as this could lead to financial loss. 
Therefore, you need to place the aquarium in the corner or on the side of the entrance hall where you won't be able to see it directly. And finally, make sure the entrance hallway is tidy and clean. If you have a shoe cabinet or cloth rack in the entrance hallway, make sure the area is tidy and clean. A cluttered and dusty entryway could bring negative energy into your home. And the god of wealth doesn't like houses that are cluttered or unclean. Therefore, make sure your entrance pathway is always tidy and clean. I hope you find my video helpful. If you like my video, please like, comment, and share. If you need personalized feng shui consultation, please visit my website www.clarazfengshuicafe.com.